Welcome back to another Honkai Impact 3 video and welcome back to Further Beyond Gaming. My name is Cody GT and in today's video, my boys, you may have saw the thumbnail, you may have saw the title. We are obtaining another legendary six star weapon in today's video. I do hope you enjoy what you see. If you do, go ahead and drop a like. It's greatly appreciated. It means a lot to me. And if you're new to the channel, you enjoy the content, go ahead and consider subscribing. We are on our way to 10,000 subscribers. Join the FBG family today and help us reach that major milestone. Now, with that being said, and all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. Alright, so like I mentioned, we are going to obtain another legendary 6-star weapon. Now, we're not going to make it 6-star in today's video because, unfortunately, like I mentioned, it takes a lot of resources, but we are at least going to go ahead and evolve it into a PI, PRI arm, if I can English today. And um, I wanted to do that on video for you guys, so I do hope you enjoy the content today. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention, back on the grind, I did miss uh, yesterday, so I do apologize for not uploading anything yesterday, but we are back on the grind. We're going to be back at it with the daily video so go ahead and hit that notification bell to say notified because the videos are going to be coming out on a daily basis once more now with that being said we do have the frozen naraka as you can see up there um, on your screen and the next legendary six star weapon we're going to go ahead and obtain you guys know it the 11th sacred relic we're going to go ahead and evolve that on today's video so um i wanted to go ahead and do this on camera now the 11th sacred relic i always had at um just four stars i never upgraded it it was one of those weapons that i kept putting on the back burner um but with it getting its pri arm we are definitely going to go ahead and evolve it and upgrade it to its max in today's video just because it becomes such a fantastic weapon not only that but i believe it's going to pair with my stingy nymph so fantastically so let's go ahead and do that right now let's not waste any more time so as you can see i have enough materials to go ahead and fully max it out so let's do that right there um get it fully maxed out five stars very very nice let's go ahead and enhance it really quickly and um let's see here i'm gonna go ahead and do seven of those i'm very low on resources i will not lie to you guys this is something that is the truth a truth factor right now <laughs> all right so let's do that and let's just see if we can get lucky with a 150 percent boost i'm not even asking for 200 i haven't seen 200 in such a long time i don't even know if that's a thing anymore i guess you guys can let me know in the comments below i don't think that's a thing anymore because i have not seen 200 percent in such a long time there we go max out boom let's go ahead i need to get some more ether crystals um, as you can see, I'm running very low, but we got the 11 Sacred Relic maxed out. Very, very nice. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do at this time is we're going to go over to the Foundry. And over in the Foundry, we're going to go ahead and take it to the next level. So as you can see, I have enough of the materials to go ahead and take it to the next level. So uh, let's go ahead and select the weapon, confirm, and let's go ahead and forge that guy right there okay oh do i have to unequip it oh, i think i have to unequip it do i have to unequip do i have to unequip <laughs> what's going on here um let me go ahead and swap for just anything else am i hitting the buttons okay let you know what let's do this <laughs> we are running into some technical difficulties bear with let's go ahead and do this why is my equip button not working all right i'm gonna go ahead and do a jump cut <laughs> i'll be right back all right so we're back after tussling with that thing for quite some time i don't know what was going on my equip button just was not working properly 
for whatever reason. But we're here, we're back. Let's go ahead and see if we can do the thing. There we go. That's what I was trying to do at least two minutes earlier prior. Okay, anyways, we have the 11th Lechugia. I believe I am mispronouncing that, but that is okay. Look at it, the aesthetics are very nice if I do say so myself. I love the wing aspect of it. It just looks like a very fantastic weapon in my opinion. So uh, very nice, we're not gonna lock it up, but we do have the weapon forge. So let's go ahead and go back here. Um, we're not going to do that. And we're going to move over to the Valkyries. And let me go to my Celestial Hymn. Because uh, that is going to be the applicable Valkyrie here. Let's go ahead and swap. And that is what I'm talking about. So there we go. Um, looking extremely nice. Very big weapon. Very big cross. But most crosses are. Um, I love how this weapon looks. So let's take a look at the skills and what it's bringing to the table the reason why you may want to forge this weapon over the other ones if you have them now of course that's completely up to you uh, this is going to be a great support weapon a weapon that's really going to help round out your team so if that's what you're looking for this is definitely going to help you like i mentioned having this weapon i believe is going to pair with my singe nift very well i'm going to have a gameplay video on that probably my next video is going to be gameplay of that if nothing new comes out or any leaks um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the weapon skills. So we have the Holy Phalanx, uh, SP of 20, cooldown of 15 seconds, deploys the weapon, summons a Holy Beam every 2 seconds, dealing 500% attack of physical damage against enemies within an AoE. Uh, nearby teammates gain 12% crit rate for 10 seconds. If wielded by Celestial Him, she gains 3 SP per second during this period. So. Um, that is one of the greatest things that Celestial Hymn can get is SP recovery. Um, the reason being is because she can drop the cross more often, but not only drop the cross more often, but also be able to unleash her ultimate more often, which is always a great thing. The ultimate, uh, if you do not know, um, brings the enemies in and it also debuffs them as well, which is fantastic. Um, now we do have some other skills here. So Divine Mending. When the wielder attacks impaired enemies, there is a 40% chance of healing 75 HP for the team. So 40%, of course, a little on the low side. I would have liked to see that higher, but nonetheless, that is a great skill to just have in general. So um, a 40% chance of healing for the team is great for survivability, um, great for Abyss and Memorial Arena. It's just a great skill to have um, all together. And then the Angelic Pinion, uh, the team gains 6% attack SP regen. If wielded by Celestial Him, she gains an additional 25% attack SP regen. This cannot stack, or this effect cannot stack. So, um, again, SP regen, that's exactly what you're looking for when it comes to your Celestial Him. And it is also for the team. So, you're going to be able to do ultimates more often, weapon skills more often. And that's always, always a good thing. So a fantastic weapon, one that I truly am happy to have on the account. I think it's going to really do well and pair with my physical type Valkyries really well. Um, and so I'm, I'm excited to have this. And eventually I will go ahead and get it to six stars um, at some point. But as of right now, the resources are just not there, my boys. <laughs> <laughs> they're just not there just to get that forged in general um took a lot of resources so i'm gonna have to go ahead and build up some resources uh, and really uh probably wait until uh, i can go ahead and get it fully six starred but uh probably a weapon that i do want to go ahead and six star entirely so that probably will happen eventually so here we go. Um, oh, well now we get the 150% boost. <laughs> uh, so if we take a look at the upgrading, yeah, see, it's 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 gonna be, it, it may be a while, <laughs> it may be a while, but definitely one that I do want to go ahead and six star because I would love to go ahead and go to my equipment. I mentioned this in my uh, video when I got the frozen Raka to be able to, to see that yellow um, type of gold effect banner, whatever you want to call it. I think it's really cool. And I want to get as many of those as possible. But there we go. We got the 11th Lechugia. 
and we're gonna go ahead and just take a look at its aesthetics in open world so I'm gonna go ahead and jump over there and uh, see how it looks all right so we are here in open world now in my next video I'm showcasing these two stingy nymph and celestial him I will go into abyss and we will take a look at that but just want to jump into open world because we're gonna make this uh, very quick so let's go ahead and start a fight here and then I'm gonna go ahead and take out celestial him so here we go and so look at the weapon it looks great it is bulky but it looks fantastic so let's go ahead and drop the weapon there and then you can see the beam of lights just shooting out um, doing damage I think that's great I think that's great um, so it's really doing some good damage here and um, of course I understand open world um, nothing too crazy to write home about um, but as you can see the SP is already um, regenerating it's already pretty much back and so let's go ahead and get a dodge there oh I did pick up some uh, SP on the floor I, I should have kept that in mind <laughs> so let's go ahead and do the ultimate let's go ahead and drop that down and then that you can see that right there you can be doing some um, good damage right there you can see the SP regen is pretty rapid we're already back to 100 I don't believe I picked up any uh, SP on the floor um, so let's go ahead and drop the cross again there we go and there you can see the SP regen right there um, just three 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 got the ultimate back can pop the ultimate um, that I mean that's great that that's absolutely great um, let me go ahead and drop the cross again. Let me see the SP regen. Look, there you go. It's just regenerating. And if you're attacking enemies, obviously you're going to be getting more back. So then you can go back into your cross or back into your ultimate if you want to do that. Um, so let me go ahead and drop this. Let me get out of the way here. Let me pick up some SP on the floor. Let's do the ultimate. Let's say you got Stingy Nymph. Let's do the ultimate here and let's do some attack yeah i think this combination is gonna be fantastic i think it's gonna be a really really good combination but in the comments down below let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys thought about today's video if you enjoyed it um like i mentioned drop a like subscribe if you're new and um let me know if you're going for the 11th or if you're going for the poistron blasters um the hyper railgun and uh, I can't wait to bring some more gameplay for you guys. But with that being said, I am going to go ahead and get out of here. I decided to leave it on this screen because it's a fantastic shot of Zele. Um, but with that being said, remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. And until next time, my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody GT. And I'm out.